Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today it's another traditional drawing, and this is actually recorded and done last year, December 2016. And this was part of my do one drawing a month on the Moleskine challenge. And the goal was to sort of remove the fear and intimidation with using the Moleskine. Because it is kind of expensive, it's not your normal, like, a few hundred pesos sketchbook it's it's expensive so when i first got it in 2012 i was really intimidated by it and i really couldn't use it properly because i felt the need that i need to draw some excellent masterpiece or i must push my boundaries and create this very beautiful drawing on it and then somewhere so i didn't use it i only used it like six pages and only do it like once a year and then sometime in December 2015 I realized in my more mature mind that it's an even bigger waste that I wasn't using the notebook it's just there in the shelf rotting itself away well not really rotting it's still pretty fine so I challenged myself for 2016 was to create at least one drawing a month on it it really did help me get over that intimidating feeling of having to use an expensive notebook. So along with that, I challenged myself to also use materials I don't usually use. So for my more expensive materials, like my Derwent Ink Tense pencils, my Faber Castle Pit Artist pencils, I returned somewhat to using my colored pencils, even though it's just the classic colored pencils and it's not the polychromos or anything. I... what else did I use on this notebook? Maybe not on this notebook, but I also returned to using my oil pastels because I learned how to use them in college to some extent. So yeah, um, I've branched out of just using watercolor and stuff like that. I'm actually pretty proud of how this entire challenge turned out. So now, I'll be using it more often. I might even start using it as a normal sketching notebook because I really want to use it and fill it up. So my goal for 2017 is to keep on using it, not forget that it exists or anything. And we'll see where that goes. Alright, for the subject of this drawing, I it was sort of a free a free idea, but I don't know how to describe it. Basically, I let my hand draw. So I did a few, a few thumbnails before I drew uh, the entire piece. And I started with the idea of wanting to play with cloth. And I'm actually very fond of this particular style or topic that, uh, that plays with cloth and how it, like having it suspend in the air or having someone play with it. I've already done a drawing like two times with that particular topic. Even though it's done somewhat differently, but uh, I really like playing with that particular idea. So I started out with how I wanted the cloth to look, and then I configured a pose that could suit that flow. So I ended up with this, and then it turned out nice in the sketches, so I transferred it over to the moleskin. So this, this is also a very free drawing because I didn't really plan out what colors to use. I knew I'd be using skin tones and then I just looked at my set and chose the color that I like, which is the blue that you're seeing now, which is sort of my default color. <laughs> I really like col the color blue. And I started choosing complementary colors that would suit the blue and I wanted to keep a vibrant active playful feel to the piece i also decided to play around the blue a bit and i made it a gageant so that was fun it, it took a lot of time to get the gageant right with these markers but it really gave some texture to the piece so that was really cool
Man, I really forgot that I did this piece. I had the video already. It was on. It was just on my phone, and I just haven't scanned the picture. But I forgot it existed. I got busy with preparing for uh, Christmas and New Year, and then I had to push the video back because I made special drawings for the two holidays. And it's only now that I remembered that I still had this video. So, whoops. Let's say the voiceover is kind of late. It's done now, but the footage is actually pretty old. Also, if you've been following me for some time, you may know that this isn't my usual work setup. That's mainly because I decided to try to find a way to increase the amount of space that I can use when I draw. Because my white desk, if you see it, if you saw it, even though I never really did a tour of it yet. Um, you could see I had a TV on my left side and then my laptop on the right side. Those are both essential because the TV is acting as my screen at the moment since my laptop screen is currently dead. So there's not much space on my desk that I would have wanted to have. So I remember that my father created this custom table for my mom but she didn't use it so I borrowed it. And the only downside is that it takes a lot a lot of space in my room and if the drawing takes more than a day to finish when I sleep and wake up the next day I tend to knee drop the table which kind of hurts and it's it's a low table so I couldn't use my computer chair with it I had to use my bed which is the perfect height for that table so various configurations are happening and We'll see what works. Maybe in the future, I'll just find a way to draw somewhere, maybe, that has a lot more space than no, that's not my room. I don't know. Also, I'll be debuting my new end screen for this year, and it's configured for the new YouTube end screen setup where you can link a video in your channel icon. So I'll be doing that. So it's the first time I'll be using it because, well, I only edited this video now, technically, so there's that. It's not that much different from my old end screen. I just moved some things around and the layout is a lot more flexible since I can put landscape photos on the right and portrait photos on the left and put the YouTube things wherever. I also made the Facebook page, an artist Facebook page. I'll link it down below. Uh, I just did that so that I don't clutter my friends with all my art and posting about live streams and... Oh, so there. Um, I might make a separate video for this, I'm not sure. But just so you know, uh, I'll be posting there when I do my live streams. And when I upload videos, which is usually on Saturdays anyway, but just in case I have bonus videos or something, it will be there. Uh, that's where I'll be posting my art when I'm done with them. Though you can just follow my DA or my Tumblr for that, but either way, it will be there. So feel free to follow me on Facebook as well. And yeah. Also with the background, let's go back to the piece real quick. Uh, I chose this type of background because I really didn't know what I wanted to do for it. And when I was fitting in the skirt area, I thought that hey, let's add some circular designs to it in the back. Let's not fully utilize the space, let's give it some white space to balance the entire thing out so it won't feel so heavy. And I think it worked out for me. I might make a video with some ideas and stuff that I want to do for 2017. Even though it's a tad late, it's not... Probably by the time this uploads, it's not January anymore, but... Uh, I might make a video with some stuff. Like, I'll announce a Facebook page and... Maybe some projects that I plan to do this 2017. We'll see. So, you're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope 2017 has been good to you so far. Uh, 
the start of the year so just keep moving going please follow me on tumblr instagram deviantart please subscribe maybe as well and i'll see you around